The Jay Leno jaw is cute. But sometimes having an underbite can actually cause pain on your jaw. Understanding underbite causes and how to correct an underbite can help you or your child find relief. So let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about underbites. An underbite is a physical characteristic where the front lower teeth set out further than or even overlap the front upper teeth. Typically you want to have an extremely slight natural overbite where the upper front teeth barely overlap the lower front teeth. But when it's the other way around, as in an underbite, it can lead to a host of complications. Such as difficulty with chewing or biting. When your upper and lower teeth don't meet correctly, it means your chewing patterns are thrown off. Then your TMJ often tries to make up for it, which can hurt your jaw in the long run. Speech impediments. Your teeth positioning and their relationship to your tongue will impact the way your speech sounds when you're talking, such as lisping or other variations of speech patterns. Misaligned teeth. Probably one of the most obvious signs of having an underbite is crooked teeth. The fact that the front teeth do not align properly and the lower front teeth overlap or protrude past the upper ones. And abnormal facial structure. Underbites can sometimes alter a person's facial profile or make their jaw appear more pronounced. In other words, the jaw seems like it's larger or too big. So even if the appearance of an underbite doesn't bother you personally, it can be harmful to the overall joints and muscle tissues of your face, particularly your TMJ, your jaw. It can eventually lead to pain, limited range of motion, and possibly TMJ disorder, TMD. Also, anytime teeth don't bite together properly, they're at risk for the enamel wearing down irregularly. So over time, teeth can become flattened in areas where they should not be flat, which can cause your teeth to look shorter and or create sharp edges throughout your mouth. So what causes this? There are four main things that cause someone to have an underbite. One, childhood habits. Typically we think about habits such as thumb sucking or pacifier use causing issues like overbites and open bites, but also anything from long-term bottle and pacifier use to a child habitually sucking on their lip, all of that can lead to permanent changes in their jaw anatomy. Two, genetics. If one of your parents or grandparents has an underbite, there's a chance you might too. There are also genetic disorders, which can occur even if they're not inherited, that may contribute to overgrowth of the lower jaw as well. Three, injury. Traumatic injuries, such as car accidents, can also alter bone growth and positioning. And four, tumors. This is rare, but if for some reason there is a tumorous growth inside of the jaw, it could cause the mandible to grow atypically on one side. So how do we treat an underbite? In most cases, it will involve some type of growth modification technique while the facial bones are still developing. So when you're a kid, but once the bones are fully formed, oftentimes the only choice is to have surgery. So let's first go over the non-surgical treatment options, the growth modification techniques that are available. Again, these can only work if you catch the underbite in time, oftentimes when you're a kid. One, removable retainers. Two, braces, orthodontic. Three, aligners, like traditional braces. And four, upper jaw expanders. And if you were not able to catch it when you were young, like we said, underbite surgery is most likely your only option as an adult because the bone has already fully developed and fixed in place. But always talk with your orthodontist and or an oral and maxillofacial surgeon to discuss your options because honestly, underbite surgery isn't that easy of a process. The recovery time is quite lengthy and involved, but it can be absolutely 100% worth it, especially if you're living in pain or unable to eat normally. I do have an article that discusses more details about the procedures and costs of all the different treatment options, which I will link in the description box if you'd like to learn more. Also, if you'd like to learn more about all the other types of bites, such as an overbite, cross bites, edge to edge bite, all of those, I will link those videos of mine in the description box as well. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.